Hi, I'm here with Cranky Craig's Movie Reviews, and I'm here to talk about Napoleon. First of all, let me just say Ridley Scott's one of our most prestigious directors. I love some of his earlier work. Thelma Louise is one of my favorite movies. I teach this film all the time. He's been nominated for an Oscar for three times, and people are saying, "Why is he, when is he going to win the Best Directing Oscar? Well, it's not going to be this year. Because Napoleon lacks a lot. Written by David Scarpa, Napoleon stars Joaquin Phoenix. I'm not a huge Joaquin Phoenix fan, but he's a really great actor. But he lacks charisma. He seems really bored in the film. I'm like, Joaquin, why the long face? Vanessa Kirby, who's got a lot of cachet right now, I loved her performance in The Crown, plays Josephine. She's the one with all the charisma. Um, it's kind of like one scene's their marriage falling apart. The next scene is a big battle where hundreds of people get killed. The next scene is a marriage falling apart. The next scene is a big battle. So it's kind of re repeating. And it, by the way, if you're an animal lover, I wouldn't see this film. What happens to horses is very ugly. Napoleon has such great PR. He's considered a hero. But one of a story, I read a historian recently that said he had total disregard for um, human life. And it's true. Um, a little spoiler alert, there's one sequence where um, Napoleon plans this brilliant battle where he shoots cannonballs through a lake that's frozen and the soldiers that are on the lake, I don't know, Prussians or some other country doesn't exist anymore, they all fall into the lake and die. And my thing is this, if you don't know you're walking on a lake, you're dumb, all right? So my point is, people are saying how dumb people are today, people were dumb in 18 something as well. And uh, I'm trying to figure out a rating system for movies and one of my rating systems is, does my butt hurt when I leave the theater? Well, I saw Killers of the, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, three and a half hours long. My butt did not hurt. This movie, two and a half hours, I was aching when I got out of there. It's a definite pass. Check out uh, more re reviews on Craig's to-do list.